Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Plug Talk. And before we get into the action, I do just want to suggest that you like and comment on this video, especially on the OnlyFans platform, because we really, really appreciate it. And we are reading your feedback on every episode. Today, I am joined by, of course, my lovely fiance, Lena the Plug. Hi and then next to us, we have somebody who we were very excited to talk to, somebody that we have fucked uh, both on camera and off camera. We've had a lot of fun with you. In the past. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jane Wilde is in the building. How are you doing? Yay. Thanks for having me. I'm doing really good. Yeah. And How we love you? the black hair, by the way. I know. I was Thank telling you. Her, it's amazing. I just, I feel more like myself when I have dark hair. I've had it for like almost four years again now. I feel so. like she should keep it. What do you think? Um, yeah, I like it. Yeah. What color was it when we first took that with you? Maybe like blonde. It was like Blondish. platinum blonde. Yeah. I felt like a little girl. I was thinking about the first time we all fucked this morning and Me I remember too. Jane was like, Hold on, you have to go like really slow. I have like a really small pussy and I remember being like yes. I was so new in porn at <laughs> I that time. I remember I was like never heard anyone say that before. So mm. fill us in about that because this was before me and you were even filming content on like camera me. with other girls, I think. So it was really it early, was like snap real. the snapchat days where it was yeah. like basic like random little pov yeah videos. but we didn't even film it right you just came over in the middle of the day and, and let us fuck right no no we filmed we, we filmed did? a little content. bit we, oh. con we did content no we <laughs> like met at avn yeah. and then we that's what we met we talked a little bit and then i think after oh my that gosh, wait you totally just reminded me that i was a huge fan of both of you guys and I was like manifesting because that was my first AVN. I was like, I really want to meet Lena the Plug. And then I had a shoot at the Hard Rock and I got really stoned after. <laughs> I went down to the lobby and I was walking around and I couldn't find where my tower was. I walked around two times and then I saw you guys just walking towards me. I remember you running. Me. Like, and yeah. Like, and I was just yeah. like, wow, it was fate. And I think you were one of the people that I remember Lena telling me like, hey, remember that girl that we met like on some fan shit or whatever at the thing we'll like check her out now she's shooting for this company and yeah. doing this yeah. and she's got like, <laughs> like a pretty i feel good like following. i watched your whole come up and i feel yes. like you you were the first person i think that made me realize i was because like until i went to avn i didn't realize that i had like other like cam girls in the industry who were like looking to me uh, looking mm -hmm. up to me and i don't want to like to my own horn i just didn't no. know and i was like whoa this is so weird for me it was yeah. really because i just knew people who were fans of me like based on just like youtube yeah. stuff or like they knew me from him so it was it was weird but it's like yeah that when, then we hooked up that time and then yes. we hooked up she did my first cream pie ever she was oh. there oh. wait that was your first cream pie ever ever with on ever. camera ever. or period ever. i came in you and she was what like just like holding it open and checking it out and stuff i mean well i, I mean like... we did, it was a christmas scene you were dressed as santa yes the santa we were, I, I was all we're, up in there yeah it was really fun <laughs> and i remember at the time you guys were like oh yeah we're trying to get pregnant this is like, like this is hopefully why we this is pie. the cream pie and it could have been and now Maybe you guys have was... like a baby and she's like over one years old she's just the cutest little girl ever oh, like for i sure. die yeah <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, one thing that I remember from that first time we hooked up was that you had like a really tight vagina and it was kind of like not happening. I know. I was like, that's not going to go in. There's no way it's going to make it. We went and it happened. Lube. It happened. Oh, yeah. I had my... She had, had her hemp own. lube, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't use that shit anymore. I don't like water-based lube, period. Like, oh. I really find that some good frothy spit is just like the best. Yeah. Or like a little silicone. Just put it in there. But, you know... It's still tight. My pussy's still tight. But you don't, like, what at that time was attracting you to the hemp-based lube? You just thought I that was know. the move? I don't know. I think I found it at, like, a sex store, and I used it, and I was just like, this is good. This I, works for me. I yeah. still remember at that time, though, that, like, your vagina, I was, like, not able to get my dick in. Because and then you, you threw so... some lube on it, and it was, boom, it was in. It went in. Hey, it worked. I was so new and porn at that time. I didn't even do anal yet. So I was, like... That was like very, very early on for me, and I wasn't even used to taking like that big dicks in my pussy yet. So, but now I remember just being like, "Whoa!" Now I do it all. Vagina's too small. I was like, "What's gonna happen here?" I felt like I was like, I don't know. I was much, much more prude back then. Not prude anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> and you're not either, Miss. I've no. seen. I will never forget that video of her with dread. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in my ass the one that was your pinned tweet for a while i feel like i've just marveled yes at the it one with the so... gay where he, it was just so big even i was like how am i doing that how is it like how did i do that let's cover a little bit of the early days before we get into the world's biggest cock okay um, <laughs> okay so where are you from again i know we did an interview years yeah. ago but let's let's just cover the the basics for yeah. the people i'm from queens new york right um so i lived there my whole life and then i moved to la about like four years ago at what age 
Uh, 19. 19. Yeah. So throughout high school, were you already thinking about the porn thing? Not really. Like, I never considered it till after I turned 18. But I was definitely, like, promiscuous. Um, Not so much caring about, like, oh, it has to be, like, meaningful. I was really just, like, I'm horny. Mm-hmm. I want to get fucked. So whoever is, like, willing to do that and I'm into you, obviously, like, let's do it. Were you an easy orgasmer? No. No. I didn't For orgasm orgasmer. until I was... Um, after I was 18, like oh, I no. never orgasm. Not even like, like by yourself. No, oh, I didn't wow. like, well, until I got my Hitachi. Okay. Then I was able to do it by myself. But the f- I feel like the first time I actually came that I remember was like the first or second time I tried anal. And I was just like, wow, this is like, cause he was like playing with my pussy and fucking me in the ass. And I was like, this is just so intense right now. Like, was that on amazing. set or off camera? Off camera. Okay, was, good. The first time I ever tried anal and it was like a good experience. So that's why I was open to it on camera. And here we are. When a girl's kind of a slut, I feel like the two options are usually either that they're just orgasming left and right. So they're like driven to yeah. having a lot of sex because of that. Or... That they're kind of just attracted to like the experience of like, you know, being around different people. And so like some girls just realize kind of early on, like, oh, my pussy is a passport. Like it will get me around a lot of fucking people that will not want to associate with me otherwise. Yeah, 100 percent. And, you know, I'm not. I'm not, like, ever trying to get clout from pussy, but I do like having, like, new experiences and, like, meeting new people, and then I feel like when you have sex, you're, like, connecting, not on, like, a emotional plane necessarily, but just in a in a different way that right. people normally don't. I mean, you, you could work your ass off for 40 years to buy a yacht. Or you could just go fuck a guy with you a yacht. Pop pussy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's fun. It's like I get that some people might see it as like degrading if you don't value sex or you think sex yeah. is like wrong or something. But I enjoy it. So like I love my life because I work for what I want and I get everything I want. But I also want my work. Like yeah. my work is fun. You're excited to go to work. Yeah, every day. so it's all good. It's right, all fun. for sure. So who put the bug in your ear of like, oh, maybe you could be a, a porn star? Yeah, how did Where did that idea come from? Well, basically, I was dealing with this guy who was like kind of shady, and I was starting to realize like this guy is not gonna give me bring me where I want to go. I need to do this myself. So after I like you know parted ways with him, I started realizing. I want to be on camera. I want to fuck on camera so I could do it myself, but I don't have like the proper equipment. I don't have the means. Mm. So I was like, I need to, I need to start and build my platform and I need companies to do that. So I had to go with the company. Did you just reach out to them or how did it work? No, I had to get an agent first. Mm. I was like, that's the smartest way to do it. And you know, I don't have any contacts or anything. That's why it's so funny to me when people reach out and they're like, I don't know how to get into porn. Like, I need your help. Like, <laughs> I didn't know anyone. Yeah. I did it all on my own. I reached out to an agent, sent photos. They flew me out. The like, fact that they can't figure it out usually is a pretty good sign that yeah. you're not going to really you, do this. You like, can't if, run your own business. If but you really is, wanted to do this, you would be able to figure it yeah, out. Yeah. That's like a number one way. email that I feel like girls in the industry get. I get those emails every single day. Every just day. Like, like, you really think I'm your ticket into the industry. Yeah. Well, I get hit up by dudes who want yeah. to do of it. Of course. I get It's mostly dudes. dudes. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really girls. It, it is girls now that OnlyFans is yeah. like a big thing and it, you could, you know, make it yourself or whatever. Yeah. But it used to be just guys. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, like, they they want to be on your level. They're not asking, like, Lena, like, you know, how hard did you work? Like, how many hours a day do you bust your ass to fucking, you know, do your show and do your OnlyFans? Like, they're just like, how do I be famous like you? How do I have <laughs> two million followers? Like, they don't actually want to put the work in, I feel like, or most people don't. They don't even know how much work goes into it. They yeah. think it's, like, easy. So once Definitely. you actually get in that environment, what was your first shoot like? Um, my first shoot was a really positive experience. I first shot in Florida for two months. Ooh. And uh, my first shoot was for a company called Reality Kings. Okay. Um, And there was, like, this big office that you show up at nine, like a big studio, and I got my makeup done and, you know, 
I wasn't nervous. Like, people ask, were you nervous? I hadn't had sex at that point in five months. So I and was, you weren't nervous? No, I was oh horny. God. I was, like, okay, ready so to eager, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I was eager. I was, like, ready. And I was, like, at the end of the day, the only thing that's going to be different is that there's people around and there's a camera. And I was into the fact that there was people. I was, like... I'm kind of like an exhibitionist. Like I want people to like watch me and right. Maybe you weren't worried. Like what if I'm not into this guy? Like what if we don't have chemistry? No, like things like that weren't really on my radar yet. I didn't mm-hmm. cause I was so unexperienced. I had no, I had nothing to go by. I had you no, have no ability yeah. to judge like what a good <laughs> yeah, scene is going to yeah. be like I versus thinking, a not so good scene. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about chemistry at that point. I was more just like, I don't, I don't, fully remember but i think i was just very neutral i was like let's just go into it at this point i have nothing to lose like let's see how it goes but luckily the guy i worked with was like a good looking polite guy that i was like attracted to him how could, long how long did he drill you out for maybe like 30 40 minutes okay. not that long but long. it was a good experience <laughs> it was a good experience for you? it was a great experience like my only problem was that i was looking in the camera because it was just so new i just mm. kept like looking over a little oh really oh, yeah. yeah but other than that i'm like but you do want to look at the camera sometimes, sometimes right sometimes yeah it well, depends on the in scene gonzo, it depends on what the scene is gonzo is when you interact with the camera and you look directly into it and you're acknowledging the presence of the camera right yeah and that's like you know that's that's the the defining factor of gonzo yeah and usually no no plot um okay lena any uh additional questions that you want to ask her no but i think i'm gonna go watch that blow bang later oh my god (laughs) (laughs) might have to check that out Yeah, yeah definitely anyway jane as long as you're here yeah it's been a few years Yes. It has been a couple of years. 2019, December. I remember. I remember, I remember too. everything. My, my hair was so short at that time. I feel like I had a mini glow up. And we were in Christmas then. attire, so we'll have to redo it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it sounds amazing. I would like to fuck you without a Santa suit on. Let's do it. Let's go. Woo.